Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the collective for all signs for June 29th, 2020. Before I get started, I do want to apologize to those of you who are a little bit ahead of me, um, either in Europe or in Australia or New Zealand, that the this is coming out a little bit late for you guys, but I want to remind you that timing is fluid, so when you see this is when you were meant to see it, okay? Um, and before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I... I'm so thankful to have all of you here with me on this journey. And I'm also so thankful for Mother Earth Gaia providing us with these true and beautiful treasures that you see here. Um, these are natural flowers. These are hydrangea that I picked from the garden and a carnation that was given to me in a bouquet recently. Um, and then also just these beautiful, beautiful stones. We have aquamarine, um, I'm sorry, we have amazonite, um, I've got larimar, rose quartz, amethyst, bloodstone, and the beautiful green fluorite, okay, to assist us in heart healing and in compassion. So I just wanted to mention that before we get started. Um, and also remember, if you like any of the decks that I'm using, please don't forget to check them out in the description box below. All right, so let's call in um, spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and our ascended masters to this space to deliver the messages that we need to hear for June 29th, 2020. So, Three of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, all right, the Knight of Cups in reverse, all right, so you guys know the rule, when all of the cards come out reversed, we're going to flip them right side up, okay, so let's go ahead and do it, look at these. All right, so your overall energy here is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is all about focus. It's all about clarity. Look at this sort of these concentric circles that are coming out from her crown chakra. This is receiving messages. This is receiving the downloads. As you guys know, we're in the midst of eclipse season and we're coming up on a full moon in Capricorn. Um, we have Neptune in retrograde. We have Venus going direct. We're in Mercury retrograde. And this is just all of this activation that's going on. Um, this is you guys receiving, hearing the messages that you were meant to, but it's also your duty to discern what these messages mean. As we've stepped into Neptune in retrograde, remember, we might feel like we're not getting the messages clearly. And so Spirit is really asking you to take a beginner mind to this, that page of swords. Even if you've been doing this for ages, even if you are, you know, an, you know, um, you're a master at your craft and what you do and you continue with your daily practice. It's always really good if you're sitting in, a, in this type of energy and in retrograde season to just sit with the messages that you're receiving, the images that you're seeing, okay, the words that you're hearing and just work through them, okay? Sit with any fears that you might have until they dissolve and really take the eyes of a beginner to this situation, okay? So you can discern correctly and for your highest good what these messages mean, okay? Because we're getting a lot of crown chakra activation and that's coming through loud and clear with this page of voices and you can see her big glasses on magnifying again remember that's that gemini energy that we're moving out of paying attention to those details focusing on focusing on those small movements but then also up here seeing the big picture some of you guys are really starting to um, focus also i'm getting on the quantum field um, and, and maybe also doing Akashic 
records work as well. Okay, I like it. I really like it. So the first card out is the Three of Wands, or in this deck, uh, Three of Inspiration. This is um, this is Aries Leo Sag energy, and more specifically, the Three of Wands is the Sun in Aries. So what's interesting about this card is we are going to Mars is in the last. It, actually, it may be in Aries as we speak, or it's in the last few degrees of Neptune. So Mars is going home. The Three of Wands is all about waiting, right? It's waiting for your ships to come in. It is this sort of celebration of having an idea, one becoming two, and then this growth and expansion that's coming towards you. So I really like this energy for you. Again, we get these concentric circles coming out. The Nine of Materials, this is you becoming independent. This is the Nine of, uh, the nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And more specifically, it's Venus and Virgo. This is about alone, being alone, but not lonely. This is the card of independence. This is the card of really being able to reflect on what you have built, what you have made of yourself, where you are, and truthfully, that you don't need anyone or anything to truly be happy. Um, for those of you who are doing heart chakra work, that you know you can build your dreams, you can build your life through sitting in a place in a place of love and compassion and this is what we see her doing we see this you know this these these roses this expansion of love and compassion in her life because this person male or female it doesn't matter is living their best life because they're standing and coming from a place of unconditional love the next card out is Knight of Emotions, which is also the Knight of Cups. This is extreme emotional attachment and commitment, but in a good way. Somebody who, this person, what I'm getting, this person is completely committed to creating their life and looking at thing, looking at the beauty all around them. Just as I asked you when we began this to just take a moment of silence and to give thanks for all of the beauty that Mother Earth Gaia gifts us, to also take a moment to be grateful for all of the friends, all of the family, all of the good food, the clean water, you know, the air we breathe. Just take a moment to sit in that gratitude and just put on you know, like she's got, it's not putting on rose colored glasses, but looking through the, looking through the world and seeing beauty in it, not seeing all of the negativity. All right. Not allowing yourself to be sucked into that sort of panic or into that vortex of anxiety. And there's so much doom and gloom around us, around us, not to say that we completely ignore that right? We don't ignore it, but this is making that, that emotional commitment to your happiness and to bringing more beauty into your life. Now, for some of you, this might be in the form of romance, right? It could, it very well includes romance. This is if you're single, this is if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're in union, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm stepping over my words. I'm having some difficulty here. Um, and what I love about this is the spiral imagery. I love the spiral imagery because it's talking about your ascension. It's talking about where you've come from, where you're going, okay? And then also, and your commitment to stay on this path of happiness. And then we get the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Six of Pentacles represents the moon and Taurus. This is all about equality. This is a, a reminder that what you're looking for is also looking for you. If you're in need of help, it's out there. If people need you, you're willing to open and to you're willing to be open and to give to them because because you're you have created a world of abundance within. All right, and you're committed to this. You're committed to sharing that love and that compassion. And this is what you've been waiting for for quite some time. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to pull some uh, oracle cards for us for June 29th, 2020. Wow, for me, this the, the energy right now in this reading is overwhelming. It is completely overwhelming in a good way. All right, perseverance. I love it. Number four, this is this is something that you have gained through persever perseverance. This is not a quick fix. This is not an overnight success. Even if it might feel like it, it's not. It's been years, if not lifetimes, in the making. 
healing. That includes lots of healing. 66 is about love. 66 is the number, is my number of Venus. Um, so Taurus and Libra energy, which would encompass all of this beauty that we're seeing in this reading. But the healing, healing of the heart chakra especially, but healing yourself. All right, choosing to see beauty rather than darkness or, you know, or things that are ugly. Choosing to see the beauty in yourself and in others and in your life and what's around you, bringing this healing. That's going to dissolve blocks in love and in business, okay, or finance. And just dissolving those blocks to your flow. All right, and synchronicity, 87. I love it. And so this is also, you know, the six of pentacles energy um, is about, you know, is about finally being not willing to accept anything that's less than an equal exchange. So the work that you're doing versus the pay that you're receiving, um, the energy, the time, the love, the money that you put into a relationship, whether that's romantic or with family, but knowing that that's going to be, that you're going to be met halfway and that's beautiful. And you've, and, and this is, your, your team, your spiritual guidance, the ascended masters, your angels, your ancestors coming in and saying, this is what we've been pushing for. This is what we've been working for. This is what we've been whispering in your ear, which when you've been having dreams, um, when you've been seeing, you know, feathers on the ground and signs and synchronicities through numbers. We also get 87 breaks down to 15, which breaks down to a six. So a lot of you might be seeing six, 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 or six, 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 six. Can I say that all again, all over the place? All right, let's go ahead and see what messages we get from the angels for June 29th for the collective. Whoa, for all signs. All right. So your first card is manifest success. Master your destiny by making use of your skills. Harness the creative forces to bring about success and achieve your goals. Yes, we definitely see that happening here. We definitely see that happening. All right, two popped out, so we're going to get a double whammy. Look up and look forward. Again, you guys, we see this beautiful spiral imagery, which is found all throughout the universe, galaxies to seashells on the beach. And for those of you who work with crystal healing or crystal Reiki, some of you might want to take a look at using the spiral grid, okay, for gridding your crystals in a spiral. Just a quick suggestion. And then you get light of hope. Hope gives us positive feelings and energy to accomplish what we desire. You guys, bringing this to fruition. For some of you, this is going to be financial success and independence. You've been working on a side hustle or maybe working on a promotion, um, but really bringing yourself into balance as far as you know, dissolving blocks to your abundance. For others of you with this Knight of Cups energy, this is in love. For some of you, this might be union. Some of you might be being asked out on a date if you're single. Some of you guys might be taking your romance to the next level if you're coupled. And for others of you, this is finding that special someone and you're meeting currently in the dream space for healing um, and or in the 5D. So this is a very hopeful and very, very beautiful message for us, you guys. Really nice message. And remember, timing is fluid. So if you don't see this um, on the 29th and you catch it on the 30th, that's okay. It's still your message if you're drawn to it. All right, and so again, taking a good look at, you know, where, oh, look at this, and underneath the, the page of swords, this is accepting happiness, the ten of cups underneath that, accepting love, accepting happiness, not overanalyzing it, understanding that you deserve this. It is your birthright to be happy and to receive the abundance that's coming towards you. And, you know, it's going to require going back to beginner mind. Because I feel like a lot of us, you know, we've been taught or we've we've been telling ourselves or making, you know, excuses for why we don't deserve love and abundance and happy happiness and creativity. All right, final message for the collective, June 29th, 2020. Oh, I love it. I love it. Heart chakra stuff. 
definitely with this green color coming out. Ascended Master Buddha and Peridot. For again, my crystal junkies out there, if you have Peridot, um, it's really going to be important this week to really work on balancing, healing, and protecting that heart chakra. Wild Compassion, we get the Crystal Masters number 333. So again, sixes and threes are going to be really important to you guys this week. All right. Um, some of you might be working with Buddha or you might be learning, for example, how to incorporate mudras and Buddhist hand positions into your into your meditations some of you guys might even I'm getting some of you might be painting um, and you might be painting um, you know I, why did I just uh, sigils is what I'm getting that's weird um, but anyway all right so this is interesting so this is I'm going to read from you this is a, another oracle deck by Alana Fairchild it's the crystal mandala oracle and this is going to be a little special because I'm not only going to read to you a little bit about wild compassion and Buddha, but I'm also going to read to you about the healing process, okay, and do a little healing at the end of this. All right, so uh, Ascended Master Buddha and Parado, we bring you the blessing of wild compassion. What if a restriction now could prepare you to receive greater freedom in the not too distant future and to be able to appreciate, enjoy, and fully receive that freedom, fully receive this freedom. Look at this, this freedom to be and to do something that you absolutely love. Oh, and that you're so proud of and that you've worked so hard for you guys. What if growing pains now would strengthen you to be ready to receive a life-changing opportunity headed your way? What if rest and time to just be at this moment would help you build up your reserves of vital energy for a time in the future when you will be asked to step up, perhaps to lead or use your energy in some way to support many? Wild compassion is at work in your life and you can trust that it knows what you need and when and will deliver it with unsurpassed grace. Look at that. And this whole reading is telling you guys to have hope. You are manifesting success. Look up, look forward. Welcome the development for positive change. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is powerful stuff. This is a powerful reading. All right, so to integrate this guidance, you might like to say this invocation now. So for those of you who have time, I'm just gonna ask that either very quietly you repeat after me or you just say it in your head. Ready? I call upon the crystal angel of Parado and ascended master Buddha who love me unconditionally. Thank you for the divine healing blessing of wild compassion. I open my heart to the loving intervention and decisive action of divine will in my life. May all beings be blessed with wild compassion through tenderness and merciful grace. Through my own free will, so be it. Amen, aho. I'm going to leave it there with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you for all your love and support. And I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.